Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 has dropped, and I must say, I like it quite a bit, probably because I'm a huge car fan myself. It's a lot different from other season themes, with cars being the focus, which is definitely very interesting. There's a lot of things that have been added to the season though, so enough yapping, let's start with the video. First Battle Pass, and it's honestly a bit worse than last season. We got the Mechanist, Rust, wow, another Rust skin, Peabody, is this some sort of Plant vs. Zombies unannounced collab or what? Ringmaster Scar, bleh, absolutely disgusting. Font skin, very cool. Bright Raider, best skin in the Battle Pass in my opinion. Megalodon. Magneto? Honestly, don't think anyone's gonna use this skin, but maybe that's just me. This is a decent Battle Pass, kinda seems like a bunch of random shit thrown together. Still alright though. And then there is of course a new map, and the one we have got is pretty cool. In the bottom, a whole desert has been added. It looks like my fingers after I've finished a bag of Takis. It, of course, has new locations, which are Sandy Steps, Brutal Beachhead, and Red Line Rig. There is also Nitrodrome, which is at a little part at the top of the desert that is slightly different. You can also find small repair shops across the map that repairs your car. Oh, and yeah, cars. They have changed a lot. In these repair shops, there are also mod boxes that you can add to your cars. Yes, you heard me right. Car mods. Here's all of them. Machine gun turret. Yes, you can shoot people with cars. Grenade launcher turret, spike bumper, cow catcher, bulletproof tires, and off-road tires. So the meta of the season seems to be everyone and their teammates in cars shooting each other, which I don't really mind. All across the map there are firings that you can drive through to get massive airtime and also give you a nitro boost. But what is nitro boost, you may ask? Well, it basically makes your car go faster while you have this boost. You also get this boost from barrels that you sometimes find around the map. War buses are now a thing, and there are two of them being driven by patrollers on the island. War bus has two cannons on top and a horn with an EMP pulse. I really like the war bus, obviously. I am Jack Big Bus, after all. But all cars also have a boost bar that does not take any fuel. Fuel is also buffed and lasts much longer than before. Thank God. And there's of course new items in the season. Some have been unvaulted and some have been vaulted. Here's the vaulted ones. And here's the unvaulted ones. And first their AR, Oscar's Frenzy Auto Shotgun, Comet Shotgun. And the new items being Boom Bolt, good for blowing up cars, Nitro Fists, basically superhero boxing gloves, Nuka Cola, Slurp Juice 2.0. And that's it. Yeah, nothing else than that. There have been more weapons that have been removed than weapons that have been added, which is pretty interesting. There are also the mythics that drop from the bosses, but we will get to that later. Kinda of surprised that there aren't more new weapons, but I guess that's because the cars are the main focus. But anyway, let's go to the bosses. Three new bosses have been added to the game. Machinist can be found in Redline Rig, and she drops the Machinist Medallion, which gives you shield over time. You can also use this medallion to open the garage holding her car, and she drops the Machinist Combat AR. Ringmaster Scar is found in the Nitrodrome. She drops the Ringmaster's Boom Bolt, Ringmaster Scar's Medallion, which gives you infinite ammo and a small damage buff. She also has her own car you can drive. And finally, Megalodon. You can find him at Brutal Beachhead. He drops Megalodon's Medallion, which gives you infinite nitro boosts for the cars, and you also get the Megalodon's nitro fist. By the way, doesn't Megalodon kinda look like Midas if he was fat and a robot? I don't know, maybe that's just me. So yeah, this season could really be a great season, if the lazy asses at Epic decides they want to make updates for the game. But who knows if we will get good updates at all. So far, this is a good start to the season. I can definitely see how some people might not like this season. Definitely not for the pros. What I hope for the most though is a big live event which really would make the season worth it. But that's it from me for now. See you next time.